just hold tight. We're up at the moonlight, believe in the magic. On sight, we'll make it feel just right. Just look at that bright light, believe in the magic. And we can save you from your past. This bond is always gonna Hey guys, welcome back to Realm of Magic with the Ember Sharps and today the twins are going to become teenagers. All Azriel has to do is do one more drawing and then play the violin for like five hours so he's got plenty of time to do that. Castiel just has to play uh, video games and max his motor skill and then these two can have the most beautiful birthday party ever. We are not joining the garden gnomes despite, you know, how good at gardening we are in this house. Are you tight? Don't go, actually, do you want to go cook? You want to make a fruit and yogurt parfait, even better. Just start clearing up the the entire, like, kitchen because it's looking kind of gross. And then just start baking cakes for the kids because we got to get three birth two birthday cakes uh, done. Get those all cooked. So let's just start cleaning up first because this place is kind of dire. Like, seriously, how have they let the kitchen just get this disgusting... Oh wait, it's because Sachi Boy has left. Cool, Castile has finished his little uh, aspiration. He's now physically gifted. That's useful. This means now that uh, Friendos, Evie, and Nani can then become teenagers. I'll make Hazel a teen as well. She lives by herself. She doesn't actually have a house. She's just like a random like child that sort of spawned into the world. But those three are definitely going to become teenagers with the twins. So they've all got someone. So they've got someone with them and then they'll have friends as they go up to uh, as they go up to high school. All the homework is done, isn't it? Yeah. So I'm just going to have you. Why don't you just go to the bathroom then go to sleep for now? That way you guys can uh, sort of focus a little bit just so you can get your needs up a bit because Azrael's fine he's just got like a bunch of stuff to do because once you've finished that drawing you can go and play the violin I'm actually going to bring the violin into your room so you'd have to walk all the way over there you can play on that so I kind of have an idea on what uh what the teen what uh the twins are going to be like with their uh teenage traits Castiel has an affinity just for academics in general so I'm deaf and all those goddamn so those three little solar systems he just loves to build for some reason so he's definitely gonna get like a genius trait or something definitely related to academics and Asriel is kind of been a bit of a cheekster I mean dying also counts as being cheeky in my book so he's gonna be a bit of a goofball as he gets sold uh, hey Morgan, why don't you? Because it's still new skill day and things go up quite well. Why don't you boost your gardening? And everything just keeps breaking in this house. I'll just get you to just harvest a bunch of things and like research and stuff. Emrys has just masked the cooking skill. Oh man, how did you mask the cooking skill? All you've been doing is baking cakes. I mean, that's pretty impressive. Okay, forget the monster under the bed. We need to get the birthday candles on this. This is going to be Asriel's cake. This is going to be Castiel's cake. And Asriel just completed his aspiration. All right, we need to get everyone into the... Uh, forget the... Just... Put the candles on the cake. Okay, Morgan's going to have to put the candles on the cake because he's right out... Besides, this stupid monster is taking precedent now. We need everyone in the uh, the kitchen now. Because the twins are about to become teenagers. Are you sad? Oh, you've just woke up feeling sad. It's going to be a sad birthday. Do you? Okay. Forget that everybody... You're like, alright, you're gonna have the birthday candles. Hopefully, yeah, okay, you're walking over because we need the twins to uh come down here. Okay, so K 
cast deal, that's going to be your cake to blow out. And Asriel, that's your cake to blow out. Okay. Okay, Asriel is blowing his cakes out first, his candles out first. Is gonna age up and Castiel's just blowing his out. They're just like, all right, twins, you guys are growing up. Okay, you're blowing your candles out again. Apparently. All right, Asriel is just because well, Asriel just like expanded then. <laughs> Uh, Asriel aged out, teenage and romantic, travail, sweaty gym shorts and the hormonal upheavals away. Best buckle those boots, the ride starts here. Okay. Asriel's now a spellcaster. You can view a spell book by opening his perks panel or by clicking on the button in this window. Cool, so they are now official spellcasters. Their magic has fully kicked in. I'm thinking... I have also got a... I found like a bunch of mo like trait mods that I found in... Um, on mod the sims i'll try and link them because i have the bookmarks they're pretty they're pretty cool and i'm hoping they don't need to get updated and stuff but some of them look kind of interesting like uh this competitive ones you take competition really seriously but i did say he was gonna be a goofball so it's gonna be a bit of a goofy one perhaps get the deviant aspiration or give them both basic now i won't give them the basic like spellcaster stuff because that's just they're not really about that. Not a good look for you, that. You're wearing the alien outfit. Jesus. Jesus. God knows what Castiel's going to look like when he grows up. But I'm going to be opening up Castle. We're probably going to spend most of this episode making them over so they look perfect. All right. I'm thinking we do Deviants for Asriel and make him the Chief of Mischief, which was actually Emrys' original trait when I made him in Cast before Realm of Magic dropped. So there we go. He's goofy. It's one hell of an outfit. And Castile is our resident genius, who is definitely going to be thinking of knowledge-based things. Perhaps being a nerd brain, perhaps doing spellcraft and sorcery. Can't be a computer wizard because that requires you getting a career. Perhaps wanting to attend university, maybe. I'm thinking, though, hmm, Renaissance Sim wants to be good at many things at once. And if you get a teenage job, if you get a job as a teen, I think, I wonder if that counts... I don't know. Nature is also another interesting one. I'm going to go with Nerdbrain for Castile. Okay, you ended up getting dressed like that, but... Okay, once again, Castile's hair turned white. Just look up for me quickly. Look up for me quickly. I mean, he's crying, but the eyes are there. Did your ears... Your ears were back to pointed. Your ears were back to pointed, and... Asriel's maybe... I'm not sure the hair's in the way, but now they're both spellcasters. All right, let's open up Casa and uh, get these guys sorted out. Okay, let's start with Asriel. First off, interesting face you got there. Also, let's just get rid of that hair. Now, if I remember correctly, we are following Morgan's stuff, and I know what Morgan's CC are, so we need to get the Whalish eyebrows first off because they are basically what the twins have. Well, because I know that when Seraphiel ages up, he's going to be looking a bit more like Emrys. and needs Emrys' skin details. Now, where are my Whalish eyebrows? And I have them... No, that's... There they are. And they need to be ginger. Because you are a ginger boy. That side... That side profile is kind of... The face got dragged down quite a bit, huh? I mean, to be fair, they'll kind of look a little more like... Morgan, I think, when I'm... Done. This was Morgan's skin details. Yep, can see it now. But again, the faces. I feel like I need to pull the faces up. If I do that, just oh my god, look, that looks just like slightly better if you just pull the faces up. Because apparently, if you pull it down, it just looks very odd. Although very narrow nose, very narrow nose. An interesting thing. The blue eyes is very interesting. It kept the blue eyes even if they were changing about all the time when they were. Uh, it also sounds a lot like Morgan as well. But when they were like kids, the eyes just kept changing color all the time. But the eyes have gone back to what they were supposed to be, which I'm glad the game remembered that. But we've also got to give Asriel his heterochromia. And I'm also, because his hair changed colors a little bit, and also I would say because the eye changed color, I can't do this cool eye color changing thing, which would be a shame. Because I love this idea that 
like his eyes were changing color as well as his hair but i'm actually gonna just do the changing hair colors for his outfits mostly because i love this idea that his hair does change colors all the time because of his magic plus i need to put his drowning reference into his outfit because as we all know he went to the bluffs and he kind of drowned which was unfortunate very unfortunate oh the hair actually looks kind of cute on you Oh, you know what? I was going to give you a different hair, but you know what? This one's actually not quite good. It hides the forehead, but it actually like really kind of suits you. But I'm going to go and just ch test out the hair that I wanted to put on you initially, which was not this one. It's the other one. The other one, which is a bit further down. Nope, that's not it. No, I'm pretty sure it was up with all the hairs that hadn't loaded in. Perhaps that's actually I think the hair that's on Castiel currently. Oh, here it is. Okay, so this was kind of what I wanted initially. And I was kind of going for because it's Emrys's hair. No, it's not Emrys's hair, but I wanted to do the same kind of shade. I think it was this one. Yeah, I wanted to get like do the same kind of thing, like the the red into dark kind of ombre, but I think there's some new ones i think these are the ones these are just basic ones aren't they yeah these are basic ones because one of my new honey sims ones has like really nice ombres because this was made for me because i wanted to give this hair to cody because it was ginger and this one didn't have ginger but they've actually what they've gone and done is honey sims have recolored it but they've done this really cool like ombre thing and it just looks really cool and I kind of feel if there was like a red into blonde option, I feel like that could be like that. I kind of like this idea. He looks like a... I, I kind of get a very strawberry and cream vibe from that hair. Very strawberries and cream, but I do like strawberries and cream. They are one of my favorite desserts. So this is the black into red, which honestly looks pretty nice. I like the hair, but do you know what? That hair at the top actually just really suited him this one just like immediately just w like like just suited him straight off the bat i just need to find a good shade of ginger and it'll work i honestly think this is the closest thing we're getting to ginger but i mean he's supposed to have full-on ginger hair because emrys technically is a ginger but he just dyes his hair that's kind of close to what i want but it's not exactly these are too light to be like orange does the because this is the original hair yeah i can just use the original hair oh man that's actually not as ginger as i was thinking maybe i'll just go full on red yeah let's go cherry boy let's go let's go cherry boy with him it's actually really nice hair on him i love it so much and then basically his hair would just go like blue and green and stuff like on like other outfits but yeah, Cherry Boy. It's all gotta be good. Okay, I'm gonna finish uh, making him over and then I'll show you guys what he looks like at the end. You know, I think I found my new favorite shoes from Maxis. Now, these ones from Discover University. They just look so good. They just look so good. I love them. Also, his drowning reference is I have this, um, I have this eyeliner, essentially. But it's like tears, like for when Sims cry. But I like this idea that when, like, his eyes just always water and he doesn't know why. And it's because... He drowned and it's kind of like the sort of consequence of being brought back to life. It's like, hey, here's a reminder that you kind of drowned once. Your eyes just never stop, like, crying. So Alright, I've done all his outfits. So, he's kind of got, like, a few basic ones where it's just, like, stuff he'd wear at school. And then there's a couple where his hair changes colour. He's got one where his hair kind of goes white into pink. In the sort of when he's, like, feeling casual magic. But then it's also... Uh, like a sort of white into blue kind of one where his he's just got like a cute jumper that just says which please but you can't actually change the hair colors over all of them without like selecting different kinds so luckily i had three versions of this hair so i just only two out of the five outfits have different colored hairs on them but still pretty good i love how he looks like the little cherry boy hair the tears are because he drowned and i needed a reference to that so we never forgot his ears uh, did not, it didn't lose that pointedness, but he's so cute. 
He is so cute. Ezreal's actually really cute. Oh, I love you so much, Ezreal. You're just the cutest. Alright, let's go and sort your brother out next. Alright, now I had a very specific, like, look in mind for Castro. Because you know his hair was growing out. He started growing out his hair because he liked the sort of... The idea of longer hair on him. And because his... Okay, your eyebrows. What happened to your eyebrows there? Oh, what the hell was... Uh, was it the Mallory ones, I think, was... Uh, what eyebrows did it give you before that, actually? Because whatever it used, it might be ones to keep. Because your eyebrows just sort of went really up in the air just then. Yeah, that was the one it used, so you need kind of flattish eyebrows. Maybe. That or I bring your eyebrows in, because you, you didn't get the long face like your brother. You actually got a decent, like, shape, but you do have a case of the, uh, the angry eyebrows. So you might need to pull your eyebrows down. Was it Sierra that you used, or Mallory? I'll check. Yeah, I think it was the Mallory eyebrows, but they didn't work. I think what I'm have to do, because this is full animal and I can do this, I'll just bring the eyebrows down just a little bit. There we go. There we go. It still looks pretty, like, they're quite high up, but they're not that bad now. They're not bad now. Same kind of details for Castile. The same skin detail, the same eyelashes, but different eyes because you had blue and green halfsies which looks really good on you and I've got the perfect hair in mind but it will mean I have to go into the women's hairs because you know just the the women has have some really good hairs yours were two-toned yeah you had the green two-toned ones which yeah really cool looking really cool looking he's not actually bad looking Castile's not bad looking I was a bit worried for how you were going to look but you actually turned out pretty nice uh, I gotta move you over to every day. What did it give you? That's a uh, very, that's a very standard outfit. It's fine. It's a standard outfit. I gotta go all the way down here. Throw off masculine because we need a very specific hair. We need. Which one is it? I remember. That's the one. Seriously, this hair in white. Just look how like. Witchy he looks with this. I absolutely love it. I just think he really suits that sort of long The long white hair. There's like a bunch of these other stealthy ones like this one if I wanted to go like Much longer because this was what he had as a kid Which is cute. But I like to think this hair did grow out a lot more But he always just pushed it back. I just love this look So we're definitely going for more like sort of witchy vibes With the shame that eyebrows don't match the hair very well, but what can you do? What can you do that? I'm actually thinking he like wants get some like sort of makeup that's very like uh, I think if I take it off the face paint one I might be able to see uh, the little starry one from Realm of Magic because it's very it's very like magic -y and I quite like it and I know you can find it on Morgan when you are uh, when you find him but look at that that actually looks really cool it's like he really takes his magic seriously so I'm going to finish putting him together and y'all can see the result after. Okay, so I've gone for a very different kind of aesthetic with Castiel. I've gone very white to represent his sort of love of white magic kind of thing. Like, also to match his hair. But i kind of given him a couple outfits that are slightly witchy. He just likes wearing the witch's hat because it's cute. And then like a couple more. Again, the cute jumper, but with like the sort of iridescent like symbol on it plus this little just sweater number here and I honestly think I can't decide between the two twins which ones I like more but honestly we just stop moving around Castiel please but when I look Castiel he just looks so adorable and he actually just grew into his features where he looks very much he looks very similar to Morgan as well he's got like sort of pure magic sort of and knowledge on his sort of play in his future was Asriel's just like, I'm going to cause chaos. I'm going to cause chaos. Also, I died, so that's why my face looks like this. But also, watch my hair change funky colours. I just love the idea that he's going to be such a little mischief mage. I know I had to pull his face up. I feel like I need to pull it up even more, be just because his face looks so low down. But he seems to be okay for now. But, oh, I love them so much. Okay, let's take him into live mode and see just how they look. I spent so much time working on now that I've got them in live mode, it's like looking at a pair of mini Morgans. It looks like a pair of mini Morgans, like Morgan just split his soul in half and 
you got chaos on one side and just pure magic on the other. Oh, I kind of love it. I kind of love it. All right. I need to sort their rooms out in a bit, but I think that's going to have to wait. So for now, you guys can... Uh, why don't you immediately just be like, I can do magic. Yes. Just be like, yes, I'm going to learn how to annoy people at school more. Just because it's Asriel. He is pure chaos. Uh, what does this thing now say with Nani? That's what I want to know. Oh, it's just this first crash kind of thing. But I do need... So now Nani and... Nani, uh, let me think. Nani, Evie, and Hazel all have to be aged up with them because they're their little friendo group. Which, I still never made their group, did I? No, he's part of the Renegades. I never made their little club gathering. Did you learn a spell already? Okay, you learned Deliria already. Wow, he's... You have, a, you have, like, a specific, like, sort of thing for magic, don't you? Don't you cast your don't care. He's just sitting there. I'm not sure where your where's your eye makeup, your face makeup gone. I'm not sure where that's gone. Uh, got a present that I think is dumb. Let's return it to the store, give it to someone else, or be grateful. Let's return it to the store. Seraphiel is just like this present was dumb. What can we do with it? So like, we'll just return it. We'll get you something else. We get store credit, which is always good. <laughs> Oh, I just gives him a little hug. Like, what's up, little bro? All right, go and chat with. Whine about your unfair life. Do not whine about your unfair life, because your life is anything but unfair. You are gloomy though. You're a sad boy though. But you need to read some books. Plus, you've already got logic level three. Really? Wow. Oh, good. You're just a smart cookie, aren't you? Oh, you're inspired now, aren't you? Oh, that's so cute. All right, it's kind of. Everybody, grab cake. Technically, it's their birthdays, and they've got school tomorrow. That's going to be fun. That's going to be fun. They're on to bees because school. So immediately, Castiel's just going to be like, I'm going to do my homework because I'm a smart little bean. And I think, yeah, Asriel can join you in that venture. In that venture. I think these two, now that Castiel's a teenager, I think he and Morgan are start, start clicking and bonding a lot more over magic because I think you can ask can you ask your dad for magical training you can jewel them and give them potions but you can't ask magical training but they are probably going to be going to the magic realm a little bit so they can start doing that training you know we can do that in the next episode I think for now where is little Gabriel ah oh, he's on the potty like a good little bean doing his own thing yeah because he's maxed the potty skill Nice. Communication's almost at level 4. Movement. Thinking is at level 2. Morgan's suddenly now got a good reputation because he became good friends with his son. He's already proud of his son who is just, you know, gonna be a well-rounded individual. But it's 3 out of the 4 sitting at the table. Well, I'd say 3 out of the 4. So, oh, Seraph is cleaning up. Oh, I just love these guys so much. Now, and I love how, I just love Asriel's little cheeky cherry look. And then Castiel with his just, I am Gandalf the Grey 2.0 because white magic and all that. Hello. Boyfriend has just come back from classes. He's the best. I love him so much. All right, let's put these cakes in the fridge because otherwise they're going to be disgusting. And the last thing we need is disgusting cakes get in the uh, stink it up the living or the kitchen area why don't you clean that up for now oh little Gabriel's come downstairs oh you actually you're probably hungry actually so yeah I don't know where Morgan is he's there foodie time for little Gabriel I think because of just I mean this might feel like a short episode because I spent so much of this uh, episode editing well, I say editing, spending spending time and cast with these guys. But now I've got to get their friends to be teenagers as well. Apparently, you never like you got to level nine of your gardening skill, but you never celebrated new skill day. So that's unfortunate for you. But these two can start practicing their magic now. Like, oh, wait, wow, you're halfway there already. With their weak bloodline, they're gonna just like they're just probably gonna become master spellcasters 
probably fairly quickly. Fairly quickly. You're creatively, mentally, and physically gifted. You are just like a well-rounded kid, aren't you? Which is pretty decent. For now, they have to go to sleep in their little Henry Puffer rooms. I was just going to come in here and just be like, why does my room look so terrible? Actually, better idea. Now that Statue has vacated the house, his bedroom's free, so this is going to be your new... Uh, this is going to be your new bedroom. Astriel, you're just going to be like, the attic sounds way cooler. Also, unfortunate for Sedge Boy, he bought that chair and he never took it with him when he left. School starts in an hour for everyone except little Gabriel, because uh, I'm going to give you some more paid time off, most because you really need to get your flower arranging skills up, and you have no more days left, so that's going to be annoying. But you're up anyway, so why don't you just go and craft some more flowers? For now, let's make I think we just got like loads of chrysanthemums, so we can just do do those ones for now. Is it snow? It's seriously, it's snowing. It is. Well, it is autumn. All right, you need to get up because otherwise you'll be late for school, and nobody wants to be late for school, especially if you're the pop. Well, I guess if you're the popular kid, you can turn up late, and everyone's like. He's so cool. He's so cool. What's his secret? Well, according to Castiel, his secret is using L'Oreal shampoo and conditioner. Keeps the hair nice and, uh... Keeps the hair nice and soft. I actually use Tresme, because that stuff keeps my hair pretty good. Oh, no. Where is everyone from Charming Toddlers not socializing? Oh, no. He's sad because nobody's socializing with him. <gasps> Poor baby. Alright, everyone should be off to school. Yep, you're heading off to school, hopefully. Yeah. Oh, cardool. <laughs> yeah, so twins are heading off to the first day of high school. Seraphiel is heading off to school. He's gonna hang out with Bo. They're gonna go and discuss their little uh their little dream of the big house in Solani. And little Gabriel is going to stay at home and focus on his skills because he's a little baby. I mean, everything is basically at level 3 almost, except for his thinking. That's going to be hopefully the next thing we get to level 3. Who is already, like, calling Castile? Corbin Seymour. Hi, friend. Oh, wow. Corbin? Is Corbin always a teenager or was he... Did he look... Was he a kid when he went... No, I think he was a teenager when they met. Actually, idea then. Why don't you and your brother make friends and meet a bunch of teens at school? Because now you can actually properly hang out with, uh, with um, uh, Max properly. And Morgan's take another day off, I think. Cause, well, just because he can. Azriel has met Tyrone. At school. Who is Tyrone? That guy. Oh, wait. Isn't Tyrone... Um. Oh, isn't he... I was going to say, is he the Bjergsen? No. He is. I'm going to need to check. Cause he's, he's definitely someone's kid. Tyrone, wait. Oh, no. I thought Tyrone was like... A munch or someone. Or like a... Like a kid who grew up... I can't remember where even is Max on here. Pet fears. Cool. Castiel has met Rohan while at school. Oh, there's Max. Yeah. And mail has been delivered, and they owe another seven grand in uh bills. That's great. I think because of the way. Oh, what's going on at school? Seraphiel spent most of recess running around trying to kiss some of the other students. Oh no. Oh, I think the teacher caught him and Bo. Too young for kissing. He didn't catch anybody, but the other students were running away. Just kids being kids, ask him to apologize. Oh, see, the way this sounds like, it sounds like 
for what for, the teacher probably thought Seraphiel's running around trying to kiss the other students. But what it probably was, was Bo and Seraphiel were playing around and then decided to do kiss chase because it'd be fun. And a teacher caught them and sent them to the principal's office. For, from Morgan's point of view, he's probably like, oh, just kids being kids, it's fine. But I think I'm actually going to finish this episode here. I forgot Hugh's ghost is still around. Hugh's ghost is still around, but that's because Morgan, if I remember, if I show you guys, I'm not sure if you have. Oh, wait, you don't. Yeah, he's got four uh, Hugh Hayes tombstones because the man is so hard to kill, apparently. Oh, well, we finally killed him. So, in the end, looking good, Lara Sheehan. Wow. People just love texting Castiel. Yeah, I'm going to finish this episode here for now. In the next episode, uh, well, Nani, uh, Hazel, and Evie will all be uh, teenagers as well. And we'll get to see, I think we'll be able to make like a friendship group for the twins. They can start practicing their magic. Nani now has to stop becoming a spellcaster because now that she'll be becoming a teenager, Makoa is going to be taking her to the magic realm a lot more often now so she can start training to be a spellcaster like him. Because for some reason, he just ended up being one. But it was all good. Okay, so thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye-bye now.